Hey everyone, I'm back in my living room here again, barefoot and loving life and wanted to just uh, follow up on the video that I recorded for you guys on Monday about th this idea of living for enough versus living for possibilities. And what we talked about really was just this idea that so, so many of us live a lifestyle that, and it, just the way we live our lives communicates that we're trying to define what just enough is. And we're, we're basically living for that in every area of life instead of asking ourselves not what's enough, but what's possible. How great of a person can I be? How great, of, can I, how great of a lifestyle can I create? And so I want to ramp from that particular topic into one that's sort of similar but very different as well. And we'll kick it off by, uh, or with rather, a quote from Tony Robbins uh, where he said something along the lines of, if you want to change your life, you have to change your standards. And so a lot of us have, or all of us, every human basically has something that, uh, that I like to call your minimum acceptable norm in pretty much every, every area of life. Tony Robbins calls it your standards, kind of the same thing. And really the, the thought around this is that whether we're talking about your weight or this, the amount of money in your savings account or the number of vacation days you have per year or whatever, we've all got a minimum acceptable norm for anything really. Even what we, even, even if we tell a lie, like that might fall below our minimum acceptable norm. So for anything, you've got this. And the problem for a lot of us is that we're trying to shoot for a goal that's up here, but our minimum acceptable norm is down here. So you've got all this space in between that is really above average already in your mind, but isn't up to your goal. So really you're not gonna feel any pain as long as you're over that minimum acceptable norm. So if you look at it for, for income, for example, you might feel like, uh, like 50,000 a year is a totally acceptable, uh, respectable income to be bringing in. If that's the case for you, it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to make $250,000 a year because you're really in many ways, you're gonna be very comfortable and happy even at, the, even at the income where you're at now, and there are gonna be so many different benchmarks along the way where you're gonna be very happy and comfortable and you're gonna feel like uh, you're, you're even far above what's expected of you by society, of, or if, if you will, and what you expect of yourself. So if you wanna change the results you're getting, there has to be some sort of, of uh, I don't wanna say desperation, but there has to be some part of you that really needs to get to that next level. And there has to be some part of you that really is not cool with accepting the way things are right now. Otherwise, you're gonna stay where you're at. And so look for areas in your life where you maybe are settling for a minimum acceptable norm that might be too low. Uh, this can go for anything, like I said. So if your minimum acceptable norm is not eating fast food more than five times a week, try raising that minimum acceptable norm to where you're not cool with eating fast food any more than one time a week. So this goes for business as well. If your minimum acceptable norm as a business owner is to, is to basically bring in a, you know, six figures in revenue per year, 100,000 per year, you're probably not going to build your business in a way that's going to get you to seven or eight figures in revenue because by the time you get to 500,000 a year in revenue, you're already five times your minimum acceptable norm. So you're not only gonna be totally okay with where you are, but you're probably even gonna struggle a little bit with pride because you're gonna feel like you've made it. When in reality, maybe the lifestyle you want or the, the ability to give extravagantly won't be achieved until you get much higher. So it all comes down to your standards, your minimum acceptable norm. If you can change your minimum acceptable norm, then you'll change your results. And so figure out what that is in your life for each area that you wanna change, define and figure out where your minimum acceptable norm is right now and reset it. One of the best ways I've found to do this, it, once you know what it is and once you know what you want it to be, is to surround yourself with people and make friends with people who have the minimum acceptable norm or the standards that you want to and need to have to reach the next level. If you're surrounded by awesome, wonderful friends all the time who are making 250,000 a year, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to feel like you're doing just fine and you have a respectable, like, satisfactory income if you're making, say, 30,000 a year. 
the same goes for any level of income, right? It doesn't need to be that scale. It could be, you could be bringing in 20,000 a year. If you start surrounding yourself with people who make 40, you're gonna start to want to gravitate that direction, your minimum acceptable normal change. So you get the idea. Comment below if you have any, any thoughts to share on this topic. I can't wait to talk to you more about it, uh, but this is something I've found to be extremely uh, helpful for me. Talk to you next time.